We're just about ready to paint the 70 Judge convertible Orbit Orange. Well, can you imagine today getting away with Orbit Orange, Sassy Grass Green, Plum Crazy Purple, Panther Pink? Ah, Tom's favorite color, I guess. Well, what BASF has been able to do is, as a rule, GMs were painted in lacquer, Fords were painted in enamel, Chryslers were painted in enamel. What they've done is they've taken all those original colors, converted them to base clears and acrylic enamels. It's great today. We can phone them up, say we want Orbit Orange, and they've got it on a disc here for us, ready to spray. That way, all the colors are accurate. Now, going back to the way these cars were originally painted, they were done in enamel. How do you tell if a car today is enamel? Let me go through it with you. Well, if you've ever wondered when you bought a car, if it was lacquer, if you're going to repair a car, there's a quick, easy test. Take a little bit of lacquer thinner, put it on a rag. Now, be quick with this, rub it on, and wipe it off. And what happens is the color will actually come off on the rag, but more importantly, you can see it actually reactivate the lacquer and it becomes gummy. So don't do this for very long, you'll take your lacquer right off. Now lacquer had its place and it's got its good points. It's great for blow-ins, it's easy to polish, you can get tremendous finish with it. The downside was is it would crack, it would check, it wasn't good with temperature changes and it wasn't good for your health when you were spraying it. The enamels Ford went with had their good and bad points as well. The customer that we're restoring this 65R model for wanted it exactly the way it left the factory. We had to spray it in enamel. There's no clear on this. We had to spray the stripes in enamel. There's no clear on them as well. Now the downside to enamels, it's fairly thick. You can feel all the edges. You can actually see some orange peel on it. The lacquers you could buff out and give you that great show car sort of finish. Well, if you're going to restore one exactly back to original like this fellow wants here, you you gotta use enamel. So somebody comes up, they rub it, white comes off, blue comes off, they know it's an original enamel job. Well now that we know the difference between lacquer and enamel, remember lacquer is thermoplastic which means it uses a solvent or the escape of the solvent for it to dry. So thermal set is everything else and it's a chemical reaction that actually cures the paint. That's why lacquer cracks, it's constantly drying. Well getting back to the base clears that we're going to use on the Orbit Orange car and on this car here, a 71 Judge convertible, this car here happens to be a metallic color, it's tropical lime problem with tropical line it's a light green color it's got a light metallic flake you have to prep it differently than a solid color if you're doing a solid color you can start with 400 grit go to 600 grit you're ready to spray if you're doing a metallic color especially a light metallic you got to take it to 800 grit it's another step but what will happen is if you don't do that you'll see all these fine little scratches in the paint that's kind of underneath the paint this is a step you have to do if you're doing metallic colors if you're doing them right well, now that we've gone through all the different paints, you want to make sure that you get the paint applied properly. One of the things we do here is we add four to five coats of clear, and what we're trying to do is build that up so later when we sand and polish it, you have that perfect finish. Well, make sure you leave the fan running for two to three hours with the heat turned on, otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to get some solvent popping. Tell the guy paint your car if you're asking him to load up the clear so you can cut and polish it to do that for you. Might cost you a little bit more, well worth it in the end.